Welcome back to the Conference USA Showcase. We continue our bowl preview for the 2013 season. Now we've already talked about the New Orleans Bowl, the Beefo Brady Bowl, mm -hmm. and the Military Bowl. So we'll move on and up next is the Armed Forces Bowl. Now this one pits Middle Tennessee and Navy in Fort Worth. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a tough game for Middle Tennessee. Now this is their first bowl since 2010. They come in with a five game win streak. And why do they have a five game win streak? All you have to do is look at Logan Kilgore, their quarterback, their all time leading passer in the school's history in that five game stretch. Get this, he has accounted for 12 touchdowns, 10 passing, two rushing, but that's not going to be the key in this game. The key is stopping a Navy attack that is outstanding rushing the football, 320 yards a game. That's third best in the FBS. They have a quarterback, Keenan Reynolds. Now you say, what's so big about Keenan Reynolds? Well, if you would have watched the Army game, you would have figured it out. Keenan Reynolds is outstanding running the offense. And the problem I think right now for Middle Tennessee, how do you duplicate playing defense against a team like Navy and the way they run the, uh, the option? It's going to be tough, I think, for Middle Tennessee. Well, New Year's Eve in Memphis, CUSA champs Rice will face Mississippi State. You know there's going to be a lot of cowbells there, but this is a good <laughs> matchup for Rice. I think it is, too. It's, and, and, and it's a big point, too, that they're playing an SEC team. I don't care what the record is. They're playing the SEC. That would be kudos for Rice. Not only are they playing back-to-back -back bowls since the first time since 6061, but they also have a chance to win their 11th game. That would be a school record. Rice comes in, number one rushing offense in Conference USA, number two defense. But Mississippi State is very potent on offense. They average over 460 yards a game on offense. They're about to set a school record. And the key is, can the Rice defense that we saw against Tulane and we saw against Marshall, can they do the same against Mississippi State? That's the key to that ball game. Well, finally, Ron, New Year's morning is the heart of Dallas, well, North Texas. Pretty much a home game for the Mean Green. They face UNLV. I think this is just awesome for the Mean Green because this is their first bowl game, obviously, since 2004. But you look at their eight wins, that's only the 15th time they've done that in 100 years of football. That's pretty special. Why? Because they got a good offense, a very efficient offense, but they also stop people in the red zone. That has been a key for North Texas, I think, the entire season. And they've also scored the most points, by the way, since 1951. Now, they're going up against UNLV. This is their first bowl since 2000. They're not going to be used to all the hoopla, either will uh, North Texas, but I think the key for North Texas, it is considered a home game for them. And I think these guys are so pumped up with what they've done this season. Congratulations to Dan McCartney.